Hello, welcome back guys. Another tutorial on Redmi Note 8 Pro. Yesterday I flashed back the EU ROM. Actually mine are from global version. So I flashed the fast boot ROM. Uh, EU version why I'm trying to get the uh, Android 10 update actually the OTA update are best on region at the moment the update are available in the Pakistan region so I'm in Malaysia no update so far and actually I don't want to update it to Android 10 at the moment still safe with the Android 9 okay before we proceed what tool needed and what to do before that let's head on to XTA link for the XTA I will give it in the description I hope you can see this is the mega thread for the modified it's not a modified it's a factory preloader image and uh, LK image the little kernel image you can read the op here flashing the preloader how to flash the LK image and the preloader only for Android 9 this is the factory image uh, you don't need to use the authorized me flashing the what is it that account me account for flashing via EDL by using the SP flash tool now you can skip the authorize by flashing the factory preloader and the LK image this two image the download already provided here this is the preloader and the LK image two file First, flash the passport preloader via passport, and the second one, flash the LK image, and the third one, flash the LK2. This is the partition. The LK image are the same, but the partition 2, LK2. Okay, let me copy this. command line and 
this is the we making a batch file file set as flash free dot Extension is dot bat save. This is a batch file for flashing. Flashing the preloader, and then you need another for ADB. What is that? Uh, Okay, this one for flashing the factory preloader. At least you can unbreak it. Okay, the flash tool. I'm using a uh, Mi Flash Pro. The version don't update it. I'm using the older version, 2.3.1226.40. It will detect automatically when your pawn boot to fast boot and recommend what type of flashing you are going to flash first put your pawn to put loader since i'm already flashing the preloader the factory preloader so to put to fast put put holding the volume plus at the moment the TWP got a black screen on this uh, preloader this is the menu for the factory preloader if you hold minus plus power that one will be all the Chinese character what is it uh, factory Okay, to choose what mod you use, use the volume plus. You see the cursor moving there. You want to boot to recovery, boot to fast boot, normal boot, boot trace. Okay, we want to boot to fast boot and then press volume minus for ok volume down for ok now we are in fast boot before that let's show the the flash tool it will detect automatically when you connect your phone see flash in fast boot so I already download my file now in fast boot I'm changing from EU ROM to global ROM flash in fast boot okay here the recovery flash choose your file 
my file already on the desktop. We go near image, the global image 11.06. Select it. Here, the select script. Don't use the flash all lock dot bet. If you want to lock it back, yes, you can use this one. But I'm using the flash all dot bet and refresh the device. Now you see the button here, flash. Now it's flashing. Make sure you got a a good USB cable, USB Type C. Better use the original cable. The original cable are the good one compared to the aftermarket one. Now we are flashing. The flashing maybe take around four minutes in the fast boot mode. Another way to flash via the SP flash tool, but I don't recommend using that one one big mistake say goodbye to your device flashing by your passport is the safest one after we flash the passport rom and after that we're going to flash back the factory preloader And thank to the guys who provide the the factory preloader. Who is that guy? Forgot his name. He's the one who got the preloader. And also thank to Agent Fabulous and also there are four custom ROM available now for Redmi Note 8 Pro Pixel Experience B O S P, Cesium O S and Evolution X. But at the moment, it's still beta. That means it's still got some bugs. Hundred and seventy-five second. By flashing the stock factory image, it will override the preloader that we flash before. The factory preloader. After you flash the ROM, you have to flash back the preloader for safety in case something wrong when you are flashing or trying to root your device but at least you still got your passport you are safe that's why the factory preloader are very handy this is a must at the moment. The preloader begonia.pin and the LK. They are still flashing now. 
remember to use the older Mi Flash Pro, don't update it. Use the version 2.3.1226.40. The new one, it didn't detect the Redmi Note 8 Pro on the fast boot mode only the older one and this version also can be used on the Redmi Note 8 Redmi Note 7 Poco F1 without a problem we almost done after it finish the screen will be blank and your phone will reboot This is the safest way to change from Indonesian to global, global to see the phone already reboot. Plug off the USB cable. Back to my original ROM 1106. Just now I'm trying the 1103, the EU version, in hoping to get the Android 10 update, but so far no update because I'm in the wrong region. Maybe the update. For a certain part of the world only, maybe they are testing. While waiting to boot, I think the Android 9 are better in gaming compared to the Android 10. That's just my opinion. But overall performance, the Android 10 are faster than the 9. Maybe in multitasking. English US. So my region are automatically set to Malaysia. Using my Wi-Fi, there are no SIM card inside the phone. This is the safest way if you want to change from global to EU, from EU to India to Indonesia okay activate my device okay no sim card one post
We almost done. Got it. I don't use the me cloud. My data I uh, pick up on my local PC. Classical. We are done. That easy to change from EU to global, global to EU, EU to uh, Indonesian, Indonesian to India. But if you are using global version, don't use the India version because that one don't have the N NFC. I think the ROM are the same. Only the Indian version don't have the NFC. If I'm not mistaken, last year I already test the Indian version on my global version without a problem. Maybe some of the app are different. The color I'm not sure which which app. I think the color app that one got the uh, recording. Wow. Now we are done. I don't want my Google apps to update automatically. Auto update. Don't auto update. Eleven zero six. This is the global MI. Before that, we are using the EU. On December, the security patch. On the EU, on November. Okay. Now we are flashing the preloader, the factory preloader, that one to avoid breaking your device. First, boot to fast boot. Reboot and then hold the volume down, volume minus. Reboot. We are booting to fast boot. Okay, now we are in fast boot. Connect your USB cable. We are flashing the factory preloader. Back to my PC monitor. Close this one. This is the folder that contain the preloader and the LK. Right click on it. Press shift button on your keyboard. Open our shell window here. This is the normal way to flash one by one. Just now I already, before this I already making the batch file. Here the batch file that I create before. Passport flash preloader preloader Borgenia dot pin Baconia the Indian one Baconian ah, very hard to say and then flash the LK after that flash LK2 
Okay, we just run the batch file. Easy. Flash one go. See? Flashing preloader done. Flashing LK done and then this one flashing the LK2 done. We already done. Okay, close the one. Back to the pawn. Now the pawn are safe from breaking, but it still can be brick hard if you flash something that are not for the pawn, like other ROM that are not for the Redmi Note 8 Pro, you flash it, then go to Mi Service Center. At least we, if you flash the preloader, the factory preloader, and you can still flash via SP Flash Tool by skipping the authorized account with that factory preloader. If your fast boot are gone and your only hope is flashing via SP Flash Tool, if you already flash the preloader, you are safe to go because that preloader is keeping the authorized for flashing via ADL. If you want to see how the preloader reboot holding the plus button, like I showed you before. I'm sorry if the video are too long. Yeah, the menu volume plus for selecting which menu you want volume minus for OK. If you want to see the stock recovery. All the volume minus. Now we are putting to stop recovery. This is the stop recovery. Press power. Reboot the system. If you hold the volume minus during booting. I think you go into the factory. I think. Let's see after this. What is that uh, factory testing? Maybe for testing purpose. I forgot already what to call that. Okay. Let's put to by holding the volume down. See the menu in Chinese volume plus for the preloader. If you hold the volume minus, this I think this one is for factory testing. Let's see what is that? Can you read it? Nah, just click power button. What's that? Eh, that's all your power button. 
until it off and reboot again. What is this? Maybe for the testing. Only. Hmm. Don't worry. We put back to the preloader. Holding the plus button. Good. To recovery to fast boot. Normal boot. Press minus. Once you have this factory preloader, your pawn maybe 50% safe compared to before. When your fast boot are gone, you can't do anything except if you got the uh, authorized me account to flash. And now the blood. Why so many Broadway? Open, click on the MIUI version seven time. Just enable the developer option. The developer option are uh, additional setting. Developer option enable USB debugging. Okay. Connect USB. And my tool are This is a Java okay, with us for permission. Manu check for device. Here are the app that you can you can uninstall. I'm removing the, some of the Google apps that I don't use. Facebook, Facebook app, Facebook app manager, Facebook service, Gmail, Google app, Google Chrome, Google Drive, Google Duo, Google Map, Google Portal, Google Play Music, Google Play Movie, and uh, YouTube and then at the bottom there click and install it will remove all the app done already deployed This one I don't use, I'm using the PC version. Uh, you see the Broadway Lazada, some country got it, some down that according to your region. Wow, five game. Goodbye. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bye bye. Okay. Blood ray already removed. So, that's it from me. We'll test it.
on stock vs poco how it perform before this i'm removing uh, removing the thermal file how it perform on stock and stay tuned for the video and once again thank you for watching for the long video